And uh, what else did we talk about? I think the last the last thing we did. Uh, uh, the last thing we talked about was uh, British uh, superstitions. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, Hi. Uh, I, uh, now, <laughs> yeah, you are back because I uh, want. Uh, I don't know if uh, uh, if there is another uh, one with us. Ah. Only we. Uh, uh, okay, Najat with us. Najat mm -hmm. is with us. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, so, okay. but but we can continue. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. yeah, because we waited a little bit for them, but no one's here, so we can start. Yeah. All right, so yeah. so the idea here is uh, we'll take we'll have a little revision, a quick revision of some of the things we we talked about in our last lesson. So in our last lesson, we talked about bad luck or good luck, and we talked about uh, some British superstitions you know, related to ladders, umbrellas, salt, black cats. We also have the lucky charm. We have the mirror, the shooting star, touching wood, all of this. We talked about this and we also did the listening. Um, now, what I want to do is I'm going to play the track one more time. So we, this time we can listen and complete uh, the gaps. All right, so, so let's listen one last time. And then we can complete the gaps in exercise number three. So uh, let's do this. Where is it? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so intermediate, which track is this? Track 10, CD2, track 10. CD2, track 10. Where is it? Ah, here it is. CD2, track 10. So let's listen. Okay, so let's get ready to listen. Here it is. Track 10. Charlotte, are you very superstitious? No, not really. Why do you ask? I'm reading a fascinating book called The History of Superstitions. Did you know that in Britain, people think that seeing a black cat is good luck, but in nearly every other country in the world, it's Bad luck. That's quite strange, isn't it? Yes, I thought so too. And do you know why breaking a mirror is seven years bad luck? No, why? Well, um, the Romans believed that life started again every seven years. If a mirror broke, then people thought the last person who looked at it was very ill and would continue to be ill for the next seven years of their life. You know, until they got a new life. OK, then. My uncle always carries a rabbit's foot around with him. Why would a rabbit's foot be lucky? Hang on. Lucky charms are here somewhere. Yes, here it is. Um, rabbits were believed to help families grow their crops because they lived in the fields and had lots of babies. Mm -hmm. So they became a sign of fertility and good luck. Mm, not so lucky for the rabbit, though. Yeah, true. So, what superstitions do you believe in? Well, let me think. Oh, I touch wood, but everyone does that, don't they? Ah, that's an interesting one. According to this book, thousands of years ago, people used to believe that good spirits lived in the trees and that touching wood called on these spirits and protected people from danger. Hmm, that's interesting. I also do that thing with salt, you know, throw it over my shoulder. I've no idea why, though. Ah, that's in here too. Yes, here it is. 
Apparently, hundreds of years ago, salt used to be very expensive and valuable and was mainly used as a medicine. So spilling it was a really bad thing to do. You throw it over your left shoulder, or the right one if you live in Argentina or Italy, into the faces of the evil spirits behind you to stop them hurting you. Hmm. Sounds like an interesting book. Yes, it is. You can borrow it when I've finished, if you like. Yes, please. Thanks a lot. Okay, so this means, number one, the idea of seven years of bad luck was started by who? Who started this uh, tradition? By women, I think. By women? Women? Yeah. Are you sure? I think women's... I... Mm. I hear this. Was it women or was it the Romans? Oh, maybe. Maybe I hear it. Uh, mm. You heard no. women. Yeah. But, mm. Yeah, but actually it's uh, the Romans. Okay. It, yeah. The Romans. Mm. Exactly, yeah. So the Romans mm. start this tradition, the Romans. All right, number two, it says rabbits were good luck because they had a lot of a lot of what? Why 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 were they good luck? I hear it the, the fertility. Fertility. A lot of yeah. Yeah, but what what does it mean fertility? A lot of children to, to, to have a lot of children. Yeah. But 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 fertility is not a noun. I mean, it's a, it's an uncountable noun. Can we say it had a lot of fertility? We can't say it like this. No. So rabbits, no. what did they have? A lot of what? Crops. 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 They lived in the crops. Mm hmm. Mm, but they had a, a lot, lot of, of babies, right? Children. They are babies. babies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. It I don't think we can say maybe it. I have okay, maybe I have a uh, noisy from my side. I don't know. Uh, but can you hear clearly now? Is it clear? No, uh, for me, for me, I hear I hear you clear, but uh, if you have uh, from my side, if there is uh, any noisy, please uh, tell me no. Let me know. There is no noise on your okay. side. But but are okay. you hearing noise? No 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 no. Ah, uh, but I I don't hear any noise. No, I'm not hearing any noise. Okay, okay. From your side. Okay. Okay. What about number three? It says people used to believe that good spirits lived in. Where did they think the good spirits lived in? Where? In the in the tree, I think. Correct. Yeah, yeah in trees. And that's why they use uh, the wood. Yeah, that's, that's why, why they touch wood. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. Okay, so many years ago, salt was used as a as, as a, a medicine. As a medicine, yeah. So yeah. it was valuable as a medicine. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. correct. Number five, in the UK, you throw salt over your is it your right shoulder or is it your left shoulder? Uh, I don't know. I don't hear the last uh, paragraph or you, the last uh, conversation. You didn't hear it? Oh, you, no, you, I hear it, but I don't uh, focus on the last. Uh, you, you didn't focus. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Hi, how are you today? Fine. Fine, alhamdulillah. Hmm. Okay, okay, so let's repeat it one last uh, that's time. That's why I don't catch the last 
uh, conversation. You, you didn't get the last part. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the last part, uh, and mm -hmm. I want you to pay attention. Okay, so you can you can okay. try to catch the the part about salt. So let's listen. Okay. Track ten. Yes, here it is. Apparently, hundreds of years ago, salt used to be very expensive and valuable, and was mainly used as a medicine. So spilling it was a really bad thing to do. You throw it over your left shoulder, or the right one if you live in Argentina or Italy, into the faces of the evil spirits behind you to stop them hurting you. Hmm. Sounds like an interesting book. Yes, it is. You can borrow it when I've finished, if you like. Yes, please. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Which shoulder? I think left, left, yes. left shoulder. That's correct. Left. Yeah, so you throw it over your left shoulder. All right, so these are some examples of some superstitions that are popular in the UK, some British superstitions. So now... The let's... first time, uh, listen, about the salad, because uh, be before we, we use it as a uh, medicine and uh, very expensive. Yes, it was very expensive. Mm. And, and did mm -hmm. you know actually the word salt... Uh, comes from mm. Latin, which is sal, sal, and sal is the same origin as the word salary, sal, salary. So even the word salary, oh. salaries mm. used to be paid in salt. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So salt was very mm. uh, important at one time in, in history. Yeah. Salt is not mm. very important. No. So, yeah. All right. So, uh, okay. So we don't want to take too much time in this one. It's about stress. But a quick question here. So what do we usually, it says here, we usually stress or don't stress names, nouns, main verbs, adjectives, and negative auxiliaries. What do you think? Do we stress them or do we uh, leave them unstressed? What do you think? I think uh, stressed. Yeah. Correct. You are right. Yes, we usually stress them. So if you have a noun, if you have a main verb, an adjective or a negative auxiliary, you should stress it. But if you have a pronoun, preposition, an article, a positive auxiliary, we don't. We don't stress it. Okay. Now, in part B, it says work in pairs. Look at the beginning of the conversation. Which words do you think are, yeah, wait, let's skip this, which words, because they want us to, to talk about which words are stressed, if it's a noun, if it's a name, if it's some kind of main verb, an adjective, it's, this means it's stressed, otherwise it's not stressed, okay, so I think it's clear, let's move on. <laughs> Okay, so let's continue. All right, so we have an interesting topic here. It's about uh, luck. So we're going to talk about, a bit about luck. It says here, do you agree or disagree with these sentences? So let me just read the, these three sentences for you. And I want you to, to let me know. Do you think, do you agree with these sentences or not? So the first sentence, it says, some people are born lucky. Number two. Some people make their own luck. And number three, some, uh, number three, people can learn to be lucky. Hmm. So what about, which one do you agree with? Let's see. What about you, Malak? Which of these three sentences oh, do, you, do you agree with? Number one. Hmm. Okay, so, you, but why? Why do you think some people are born lucky? Uh, because um, I see that maybe I see uh, lucky people. Mm, can, can you give an uh, example of don't a... to do anything? Uh -huh. the, don't do anything uh, to make uh, their uh, luck. Mm. I think everything comes uh, uh, come to them. You mean everything comes ready to them? Yeah. Do, do, do you have an example? Do you know someone who's lucky like this? A lot of people. <laughs> you, you, you know a lot of people who are like this? I who... can't remember now, but uh, 
But I think a lot, yes, yes, they have luck and yeah. their life. Mm, interesting. Okay. What about you? What do you think, uh, Sana? Which which of these uh, three statements do you agree with? Uh, I don't know, but um, I agree with Malak. Mm -hmm. Some people are poor in luck. Maybe because I think uh, some people when uh, they born, born, uh, Allah write uh, in His uh, on her jabham uh, I don't know. Forehead. Uh, yes, Shaqi or Saeed. Mm -hmm. Happy in our sadness. Maybe that's why. Uh, but but do you think is is some this some people are born? Is this fair? Do you mm -hmm. think it's fair? Some people are born uh, happy. Some are born unhappy. Not uh, fair or not fair because Allah wrote it this. Maybe I don't know. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. Uh, but. Uh, but they have a golden spo spoon on uh, their mouth. They have a yeah. golden spoon in their mouth? Yeah, maybe. Mm. Oh, interesting point. Um, for me, ben, for me, I don't have any, like, I, if I want something, I... Uh, me too, like, thank you. So, so <laughs> this means... Should I work hard? Should I work hard? And should I study... Like, for example, the study, I should uh -huh. study hard to be successful. The luck not work with me at all. Yeah, so, so, me so, so this means Shaqi from the, from the start in your situation. Yeah. yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> what about you, Malak? Also Shaqi? Yes. <laughs> yes, when I want something, uh, don't come to me <laughs> like uh, other people. <laughs> Yes, I do a lot. I we, do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, but I work. don't have any luck. We should work hard to get uh, anything. <laughs> Interesting point, but but yeah. what about what about the second sentence? Uh, like for example, some people make their own make their own luck. Do you think this is uh, this is true? Some people no. make their own luck, no. or do you think this is not true? You can't control your luck. What do you think? I think no, you cannot uh, control your luck. Mm. Mm. Or maybe, maybe there is, I don't know. Maybe there is uh, some people can do something for, for, for luck. Mm. Okay. Mm. But what about uh, people can learn to be lucky? What do you think? What do you think about uh, this one? Uh, do you think people can learn to be lucky, Sena? Or do you think this is also strange? I think no. No? Yeah, if, yeah even this is strange, yeah. You, you think you How can't? to be learning to be lucky? I don't know. <laughs> but but if, if there's a way, would you like to... Would you like to learn if there is a way to be to be uh, if, lucky? If the, okay, if there is a way, okay. So Why you, not? You wouldn't you wouldn't mind learning it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, what about you, uh, Malak? Do you think this is possible? No. No. Do you think you can't you can't learn to be lucky? Uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe they talk about uh, people uh, who uh, don't do anything to make uh, their future or uh, their uh, their something to happy and to make uh, them happy. But uh, I think uh, uh, if uh, the people uh, do everything but the luck uh, don't come to them, no, they. They don't uh, can uh, um, mm. do luck for them. No, they can't. I As see. in they uh, they learn. Yeah. So they will always be unlucky. No, maybe a good uh, 
I wrote uh, the luck for them, mm. but uh, if uh, they don't have luck, uh, I think they uh, don't. They can't. But but where does luck come from? And if you think, do you believe in it? Do you think it actually comes from somewhere? Maybe come uh, from uh, dua. Uh, but what what if you're born shaqi from the beginning, like uh, Sana said? Do you think dua will make a difference? Yes, I yeah. think uh, dua yeah. uh, do a lot for me. Mm. Not luck. Okay, good point. So this means you can change your fate. You can change your... Because Sana, when you said uh, this sounds this sounds like fate, right? Yeah. This means uh, with dua, maybe this can change. This is what Malak is saying. Do you agree with this? Do you think this is true? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think uh, Allah divided everything for the people. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, not I think, I'm sure Allah fair mm -hmm. and can give anyone what uh, he wants or what, uh, but I think sometimes the people, I need, I want something, but Allah, uh, he knows this thing is not good for me. That's why uh, Allah didn't give me this. Mm -hmm. That's why... Uh, Mm, no, I see. it's okay for me. Yeah. So, so, so you accept that you were unlucky? Yeah. Yeah, not unlucky, unlucky, but uh, alhamdulillah, I work hard. I, I, I take this <laughs> thing I, I need or I want. After I think, after I work hard, I learn from this work and I uh, can uh, Maybe, uh, yeah, there is advantage for uh, this hard work. Mm. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Okay. All right. So, yeah. so we're going to read a very what nice... What about you? You are lucky man or no? <laughs> I'm I, I, lucky man. I think I'm lucky. I think I'm lucky. I, I There are many circumstances in my life that I didn't control. I, for example, I didn't choose where I was born. I didn't choose my mother. I didn't choose my father. We, d we don't choose any of these things. Sometimes you're lucky that you're, the situation around you is uh, maybe positive or good, and it will help you in, in other parts of your life. But this is not always true. Many people are born in maybe conditions which aren't very good. Maybe, uh, yeah. So in my in my situation, I think I'm very lucky in this in this aspect that I had a very good uh, uh, a very good first uh, start uh, in life. I think so. I'm lucky there, but uh, yeah. This but I meaning think... uh, if everyone, I think um, this meaning even me, I am lucky because True. even me, I first my life I live with my mother and my father and uh, both of them. Is, uh, mm -hmm good yeah. and uh, grow up uh, good exactly yeah if, if you have and a good even let mm -hmm. and yeah. and even let me uh, not force me to uh, to study something or to uh, let me what i want and uh, i uh, what i want yeah to choose do. choose whatever you want yeah yeah, so this is actually, mm. this means you're luckier than a lot of people who are born to, for example, difficult parents or maybe mm. uh, a mother or a father who who are not, you know, who have their own problems. So kids who are born to these families, you know, life is very hard for them. You know, yeah, to, yeah. from the beginning, they they start chucky, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. No, not, uh, I'm not... Uh... <تصفيق> يعني مش شقي إلى الدرجة لكن في حاجات نتمنى فيها ما يكون زي ما نبو بس مش زي يعني أي حد يتمنى شيء وفي سعر القاه يعني وعتيجة هي هذه هي هذه هي هذه المطلق I I'm not talking about what how to born or how to live or how sometimes I want something but I cannot by luck give me by luck or yeah, me like too, yeah. for for example the exam 
I yeah. should study hard to get the good grades to uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, satisfy. Uh, yes, I forget the. To, to, to pass, you mean to get a good result. Yes, yeah, mm. to pass. Yes, yeah, and to pass the exam and to pass uh, to. But but do successful. you think do you think successful people are lucky? No, of course. Not, uh, but uh, no, um, from this uh, this efforts. Uh, but uh, I think uh, they have uh, some luck. Mm. Yes. Uh, you mean luck in uh, that uh, things come easy to them in this way? Do you mean lucky or do you think no, mean lucky no, like, no, like their easy. circumstances? Yeah. Maybe not easy, but uh, yes, maybe circumstances mm. uh, are good. Maybe yeah. everything helps them, yeah. True. Mm. Okay, okay. So, so now we're going to read a very interesting article, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if you can, if you will agree with it. But, uh, you know, it has some interesting points. So it says here, this, uh, uh, we're going to talk about this guy, this uh, man. His name is Dr. Wiseman, uh, Richard Wiseman, okay? And I, I'd like you to read the article first, and then I'd like you to tell me which of these three points do you think he agrees with? Do you think he agrees with one or two or three? This is uh, this is the question. So take some time and start reading. When you get to the to the bottom, just uh, just let me know and I can move the page. Okay, I can scroll down. So start here. The secrets of luck. Uh, if you move to another paragraph, uh -huh. I finished the, the first one. Uh, okay, let me move it for you. Mm -hmm. Let's move it. Uh, just a second. Let's clean up the page. Okay. Has everyone else finished the, the first paragraph? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So let's start here. Oh, having had myself from off that time. Yes.
Okay, I am finished. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the last paragraph. Mm -hmm. mm, just this, two sentences and a photo. Okay. Okay, has everyone finished the, <coughs> the article? Yes, I'm finished. Okay, Malak, are you done? Yes. Uh, okay, what do you think this, this cartoon means? I only need a job until I win, I, until I win the lottery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what do you understand from this cartoon? Uh, he um, depends on uh, the luck, depend, uh, on luck uh, to... Exactly, yes, uh, that's the idea. Yes. He's, he's depending on his luck or he believes yes. that uh, he's lucky. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now from this interesting article, what do you think or what do you think the position of Dr. Wiseman is? Do you think he believes in number one? Some people are born lucky. Do you think he believes in number two? Some people make their own luck. Or do you think he believes in number three? People can learn to be Number lucky. one, no. Number I one, no. He doesn't believe uh, about uh, people who uh, was born now. Uh, okay. So he doesn't luck. believe okay. this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what does he believe? I think number three. <clears throat> number three? He thinks people can learn to be lucky? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. But after after reading this story, do you I mean, did your opinion change or, or do you did your opinion change or do you think you still believe in the same point that some people are born lucky? Mm, uh, I don't know. But mm. uh, I think uh, he uh, he do like school for mm -hmm. the yes mm, maybe i don't know would you, would you like to join yeah, the school yeah, want to, uh, yes, why not? Want to yeah, learn, why not uh, mm. he wants to why teach not? people yes. how, to, how to be lucky yes how to be lucky yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. okay okay and maybe how to deal with the with the unlucky uh, thing is so, yeah true Maybe this is yeah. this is his point. He wants to teach us how yeah. to how to react or what to do in unlucky situations or when bad things happen. Yeah. Maybe yeah. he's focusing more. Um, I don't know. Maybe more on our attitude, how we face these yeah. things. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is, uh, I think, the the main thing for this school. Mm. Yeah, all right. Okay. Because uh, some people, when uh, want something. And uh, this uh, something not uh, do or not uh, happened with him, <laughs> or maybe uh, we will uh, ill and we will feel uh, very sad, and uh, maybe yes, and mm. uh, yeah. that's why this school maybe for like this people. Uh, you mean the people who who don't take opportunities or don't know how to act? Is that what you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. Mm, yeah, because I think that... there is people affect and feel very sad for this and uh, 
even sometimes you will see like this people you will feel uh, this people sick or something but happened something not good for him or for them uh, so you're saying you're saying that mm -hmm. the person are you saying that the person attracted the, the bad yeah. the bad the problem yeah uh, that yeah. that because of because of the way he thinks or the way she thinks she attracted the problem yeah. Yes. Mm. Mm, okay. But but do you think, do you believe that we can, but if you believe this, then maybe you can, then maybe you also believe that we can attract good things, that we can attract good luck. Do you think this is true? Do you think? Yes. I told you before, Allah, if uh, something not give to you, this meaning this is not good for you. You mm -hmm. will... Uh, you will maybe uh, discover this or you will uh, know this in, with the days or with the... With time. With time, yes. Mm. Maybe... But, uh, yeah? Not Arab people like this. Uh, that's why maybe you will believe the luck uh, more than anything. Mm. Mm. But But what... What about people that, uh, I mean, that have bad things happen to them? Um, I mean, why didn't uh, Allah stop the bad thing from happening to them? I think if you will, uh, uh, you will see or you will focus in their life, <laughs> maybe you will find a lot of things uh, good, not bad. Mm. But so, uh, I think every maybe just put a bad thing in the his face. That's why. Good point. So maybe mm. only one bad thing, and maybe before it nine mm. good things, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. This is true. It happens sure. a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. But what if it's the opposite? Mm. What about one person who has one good thing and then nine bad things? For example, born blind and born deaf and. Maybe doesn't have a, a hand, <laughs> you know those people, who who are born in very bad situations. Well, like, what, I think, uh, like this people, I think uh, not a bad thing. Maybe lucky. Maybe they're lucky not that they're they're, yeah. they're blind and they don't have a hand. Even blind. Even blind. Some. Uh, I think uh, Allah give uh, him something else because if you see now like sport. There is uh, people, there is no food, uh -huh. but he plays uh, valuable uh, football and they good for this sport. Mm. This is people lucky or unlucky. Uh, of course, lucky that, they're, that they, they're, yeah. they can play well, but they're unlucky yeah. that they're poor. Right, and maybe the what, what about a poor person who doesn't play well, sp good uh, sports? <laughs> so poor, but I no think talent. Have, I think I think have something else to do. Uh, mm. uh, believe me, uh, so, Allah so, remove something and give you something, something else. else, something else instead. Yeah, mm, good yeah. point. Mm, that could be true. Mm. Mm. No, so it's I it's a true. it's a it's a complicated. <laughs> It's a, it's a complicated topic <laughs> if you think about it. Yes, it's complicated, but uh, I think it's yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So now... Um, uh, okay. Uh, what about the questions now? Let's take a look. Now, it says, which of these sentences are correct? Uh, <clears throat> sorry, <coughs> it's the opposite. Which of these sentences is correct? This means from these six sentences, there's only one correct. All right. And maybe five of them. <coughs> excuse me. So only one of them is correct. Five of them are incorrect. So we want to find the correct one. And we want to correct the, the, the five wrong ones. So this is the idea. So 
So let's find let's find the, the true one and then correct the wrong ones. Uh, okay, let's start with number one. Maureen Wilcox won the lottery in June 1980. True, false? What do you think from the article? Um, no, not uh, false. It's he false. Was the biggest loser. Yeah. yeah. But mm. but but false. why 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 was she the biggest loser? Why? Uh, Um, maybe he is uh, unfortunately. But what what's the story? What happened to Maureen Wilcox? Why why is she the the most unlucky person or the the the, the U.S. lottery's biggest loser? What what happened to her? Did you understand what happened to her in, in this paragraph? Yes, yes. Um, she chose the, the winning, winning numbers numbers uh -huh. for both uh, yes yeah. for both uh, um, lotteries. Yeah, but what did uh, she do? Rhode, Rhode Island Iowa, and, and uh, Massachusetts. Uh, yes. Yeah. But what but happened? For her, yeah, uh, the number is uh, big uh, for uh, the Rhode uh, Island lottery. We're correct uh, one. one for, for Massachusetts that. and yeah. vice versa. So it's like for ima imagine there's a there's okay. a for example there's a lottery in Tripoli yeah. and a lottery in Benghazi. Yeah. And I have the correct numbers for both, but then I give the correct number for Tripoli to Benghazi and the correct number of Benghazi <laughs> to Tripoli. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I win, yeah. I win nothing. <laughs> so the, this opposite. Is the opposite. The number of opposite. Yeah, imagine, mm. imagine mm. how she felt that she had the yeah. right number but for the wrong, uh, the wrong state. The wrong uh, rot uh, rotary. The yeah. wrong uh, company. The mm. wrong company or the wrong, uh, wrong yeah. uh, city. So, yeah. so unfortunately for her, she of course she didn't win. So this is uh, mm. false. So number one is false. Number two, Wiseman has spent nearly ten years studying luck. I think wrong. What's the right answer? Over ten years. Over. The meaning over. More. Yeah, over ten years. But where is more. it? Where is it? Where does it say he studied uh, more? Ah, correct. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, for over. Dr. For Lee over. Has been studying luck for over ten years. Yeah, you're right. So, mm. so okay. So number three, lucky people behave in the same way as unlucky people. Is this true or is it false? Yeah. How do they behave, lucky people and unlucky people? What do you think? I think it's not the same the behavior. Mm, not the same. Excuse me. Mm. That's actually correct. They don't behave in the same way. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're not, because mm -hmm. uh, these four points he's uh, mm -hmm. he's showing. It says uh, fortunate people behave in a way that creates good luck in their lives. Mm -hmm. So they do a lot of things that unlucky people don't do. So their behavior is actually a bit different. They don't behave in a similar way. Mm -hmm. So this means this is actually false. All right, mm -hmm. point number four. Unlucky people meet more new people than lucky people. No. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Obvious, I think. You think- Lucky people know a lot of uh, people. Uh, Yes, lucky people meet more. No, uh, lucky people. Yes, lucky people. Lucky meet more people new, meet new more. people. Uh, yes, correct. That's right. Yeah, lucky people meet more. Lucky people meet more new people than unlucky people. That's correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, at about number five, it says the volunteers at luck school were all unlucky people. Yes, this is true. Uh, mm, let's yeah. take a look. What does it say? Mm. Uh, he said uh, yeah, where he hoped that uh, unlucky people, uh, unlucky people could learn to be luck. But it doesn't say it didn't say if they were lucky or not. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I think from the understand uh, the lucky a yeah. lucky person. Correct. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Because it says where he hoped that unlucky people could learn to be lucky. So this means the students mm. who started were all unlucky. Yeah, yes, lucky people. Yeah. So maybe this is actually true, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, because the last one is true. You, number five, not the last. Number six, I think. Number six is true. True, true yes. Okay, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Become, uh, become happier uh, day, but uh, that uh, mean become uh, luckier. But it's, it doesn't say it doesn't say all of them. You see, it says eighty percent of them. Yeah. Mm. So so or this yeah. so not, this uh, means it's uh, num the last one is not true, but mm -hmm. number five is the one that's true. The people yes. who, who entered the school, who started the, the, the course yeah. or the school, those were, all of them were unlucky. But uh, uh, at the end, uh, you know, 80% became happier and luckier. Not all of them, not 100%. Yes. Okay, now before we, have, before we have our prayer break, this last question, yeah. uh, I, want, mm -hmm. I want your opinion. What do you think mm -hmm. of Dr. Wiseman's ideas about luck? Let's start with you, Sina. What do you think? These ideas. What do you believe? Maybe what uh, we said before, mm -hmm. uh, deal how to uh, deal with the unlucky uh, situation. This is the idea for uh, Dr. Wiseman. So you think he he's he's only focusing on what to do if something bad happens to you? Yes, and how to deal with mm, this. Uh, but, but do you think maybe he, he's also trying to teach, uh, maybe trying to change the behavior of, uh, of some, because according to his study, he says that lucky people and unlucky people, they don't behave in a similar way. So mm -hmm. if you take, if you actually Maybe. focus, if you actually focus here on this part, uh, mm -hmm. uh, where he mm -hmm. says four ways to be lucky, he actually has mm -hmm. a specific way or specific things to change or to do that if you do them, you will become more lucky. This is, this, do you get the idea? Yes. So he, he actually thinks we need to change our behavior uh, to yeah. match to match the behavior of lucky people because lucky people have a different behavior from unlucky people. Do you get the idea? Mm -hmm. And this is yeah, this yeah, is a yeah. little this is a little interesting if you think about it because he's not mm -hmm. talking about luck as okay. something that's given. He's talking mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. something that you can maybe attract or something that you can mm -hmm. create. If you. Yeah, yeah. So my question again to Sena is. What do you think of this idea of creating our luck by, by doing some things? Do, do you believe in this? Do you think it's true? Or do you think maybe it doesn't make sense? Or you, you don't think it's true, according to your belief? I, I think maybe, um, I, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> because here, if, if you see the school here, 80% mm -hmm. is uh, successful. Mm. So, maybe it's a good, uh, yeah. Good but thing. but may, maybe because you're a, an unlucky person, maybe you'll be from the twenty percent. You're mad, right? From the twenty percent. Maybe to... I don't know. <laughs> so even even after you <laughs> go to school, <laughs> and everyone else yeah. becomes luckier, you're still unlucky, both of you. So <laughs> now we have to go to this school <laughs> to become more. <laughs> <laughs> More lucky. <laughs> yes, yes. We, I think we should we should uh, take a part. What? Okay, let's check your uh, opinions, Malak. What do you think? Um, um, about... I think uh, he has uh, good uh, advice. Uh, mm. Advices. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one of them about optimistic. Uh, I, uh, yes, I like this point uh, uh -huh. because um, maybe if you have good optimistic uh, you, you that's right uh, yeah, you um, won't have a, a good luck mm -hmm. you will have a good luck yes you, you mean like and, uh, in this yes. way you mean mm -hmm. yes 
positive attitude, yes. Make mm -hmm. uh, good things happen, yes. That's good. Okay. But what, what about his view on, on luck, about creating our own luck? Um, what do you think? Do you think this um, is true? Do you think you can create um, your luck? No, but uh, maybe help. Help is... Uh, maybe uh, you can ha help yourself, but... Uh, mm -hmm. In something, not uh, all of... Uh, Ah, you mean in, you can improve your luck a bit, but not uh, not yes, not and completely. Yeah, some sides, uh, some sides of your life, but uh, not. Uh... Mm. But I think yes, maybe you, if you uh, think uh, um, as a positive, uh, as a positive, uh, maybe you have uh, to reach to uh, what you want. Mm. Okay. Maybe we have a negative. Uh, negative uh, think you mean you mean maybe a negative uh, mindset or negative ideas mm -hmm. will will create will create unlucky situations for you att yeah. attracting unlucky situations yeah mm, interesting okay okay so before we continue and talk about the vocabulary in detail um I want to, uh, yeah, let's, let's pray first before we do this, because this is nice. And it talks about synonyms. So we will discuss synonyms. We will improve our vocabulary a little bit here in number six. But let's, uh, let's go to Salah first, and then we'll come back, okay? Okay. okay. All right, so see you in a bit. Let's have a little break. And I'll see, see you. you soon. Okay. See you.
Okay, let's see who's back. Hello, hello. Yeah. No. Okay, hello. so my neck is back. Okay, let's continue. Um, all right, so we talked about uh, we talked about luck. We talked about uh, Mister, oh, what is he, Doctor Richard? Now let's talk a little bit about uh, vocabulary. So here we want to discuss synonyms. So let's talk a little bit about synonyms. So uh, here it says, look at the words, phrases in pink in the article. Check any words you don't know with the teacher, with your teacher. Okay, let's start with the pink words, okay? Let's start from the beginning. Let's take a quick look. I'm just going to read them out. Uh, I don't think there's a most, um, let me just read them out, okay? So we have chose, satisfied, lucky, behave, notice, by chance, attitude, uh, sure, dealing, dealing with, showed. Okay, so these are all the pink words. Uh, who, can, who can explain attitudes? What do we mean by attitudes? Mm, who, who can explain this word? Attitude. Attitude, um, it is uh, uh, not a situation. It is uh, your uh, your uh, reaction. Mm. Okay, kind of, that's kind of correct. You, you mean you mean the way you react in a situation? Yes. Okay, well, I think that's kind of true. The way we re you react in a situation, we can say this is your attitude. Um, okay, Sana, are you there? Are you back? I think Sana is not back, but she's not back yet. Mm, okay, I think that's correct. It's the way you handle a situation or you, the way you deal with some kind of situation. We can say this is an attitude. All right, so we checked the pink words. Uh, are there any new words here, Malak, for you in, in the pink words? Any new words here? Or are they clear? Just coping with. Uh, coping what is it? With. Dealing with. Uh, this one? Coping with. It's coping. No, coping with yes. is, is blue. Yes. No, I'm talking about the pink yes, word, words. Okay. The pink words, do you have any no, words? It's clear. Yeah. clear? No. Uh, so the, the pink words are clear. This is this is this was the question. Um, welcome back, uh, Sana. So we're just taking a look at here yeah. in, the, in the first exercise in number the first part, I mean, mm -hmm. of exercise six. They want us to take a quick look at the pink words and then see if there, you know, if there are any new words here. I think I checked them with Malak. There, is, there are new, no new words, but with you, let's go through them very quickly. So we have chose, satisfied, lucky, behave, notice, by chance, attitude, sure, dealing with, showed, that's all. Are there any new words here for you or you no. know these words? No. no. All right. No. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. So now let's take a look at the second part of the question and let's see what they want. So uh, it says here the words in blue in the articles are synonyms of the word in pink. So write them in the correct places in the tables and write the infinitive forms, uh, the infinitive form of the verbs. Okay, so this is a, a kind of a two part question. So actually, in reality, all the blue words in this article are synonyms of the pink words. Do you get the idea? So now our job is to find the right synonym for each word. So this is our job now. And if you notice, we have all the pink words here in the table. Can you see them? Choose, satisfied, lucky, behave. Can you see them? Uh, yes. the, the only difference is in the article we have chose, but here it been any anikunum infinitives. They just want all of them uh, switched to infinitives. This is this is the only thing they want. All right, so mm -hmm. 
So let's try to do this together, okay? Let's find the synonyms of these uh, words. So let's start with satisfied, okay? Mm, can you find any words? Any, now we're looking for the blue words, by the way. We need to find yeah. a blue word which has the same meaning as satisfied. Do you think you can find it? Maybe Malak can help you. Yes. If, if you can't find a word which has the same meaning as satisfied, just yes. go to the next uh, yes. one. Just go to the next one if you can't find. Okay. All right, so let, let me start from the beginning and then when you read them, just tell me and I can move down so you can see all the words, okay? So we're looking for satisfied. Here we have picked, we have approach, revealed, fortunate, certain, coping with, act, spot, accidentally, content. So these are all the, all the blue words. Which of them has the meaning of satisfied? If you're not sure, we can just leave satisfied and check the other words. Um, and if you want to start, uh, I mean, if, if you want to do it without any order, add you mentioned had you can, you know, just do it randomly. What about lucky? Maybe we can find lucky. Fortune. Fortunate. 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 Yes. That's actually yes. correct. Fortunate. That's correct. Yeah. Yes. Fortunate is a synonym of lucky. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, so but like I said, uh, uh, here adjective. Fortunate. It's not uh, uh, okay. low can, can verb be infinitive. So if it's a verb. They choose, Metlin. Choose whom Atin had chose, but um. we want the infinitive choose. Like in satisfied or fortunate, uh, sorry, I mean, lucky or fortunate had all my adjectives. Also Adjective. Yeah. But at least we okay. found one. This is the important thing. Mm. Mm. What else? Satisfied content. Mm, interesting. And that's correct, actually. Yes. Satisfied mm. and content are synonyms you're right so satisfied and content correct what about what about behave can you find a verb which has the same meaning as behaved behave behave uh... i can i can move the page so you can see all of them just give me a second, let me close the door. Uh, my cat is being noisy. What's happened? I think yeah. the teacher go to close the door because the cat is his cat. <laughs> uh, I can't find this word. What the, he wants? No, uh, behave a uh, approach. Mm. Mm. The same meaning. 
if you see here in the in the sentence yes people have a completely different approach to the world this means the, the same behave mm -hmm. okay so what did you find approach A approach is mm -hmm. which one is approach uh, behave Excuse me. Mm. Mm. behave and approach mm. i don't know let me check mm -hmm. me too. Mm. i don't think so why because the attitude is the same being color attitude attitude is the same as what being color this meaning with the group with the behave no here it is attitude mm. yes okay. <clears throat> behavior I mean... attitude behavior attitude no we can't match behavior no, no. attitude both are pink no. yes that's okay. what, that's what i mean yeah but uh, behave is the main meaning approach mm. if There's... you see even that sentence here People have a completely different approach to the world. But approach doesn't mean behavior. It's not exactly the same. I don't know. Because I translate, give me the same meaning. Uh, okay, actually, Najat found it, but she mm. doesn't want to share her answers. <laughs> okay. Why is she silent? Then? You see, I told her you're you're too silent. You have to mm. share. Yeah. I yeah. think I think she became shy after. Uh... Yeah, really. Yes. Okay. Yes, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just joking. <laughs> no, it's okay. What she what she wrote? <laughs> She's angry. She's upset now. <laughs> She's, she's shouting at me in the, in the private messages. <laughs> okay, I'm just joking. Uh, mm -hmm. So, behave. Okay, let's leave behave. Let's do the other ones because I'm sure you can find okay. them. Mm -hmm. So, what about by chance? When we say something by chance, by chance. Mm, accidentally. 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 Mm, okay, yeah. correct. That's right. Mm. So so let's do the easy ones first, okay? I'm going to look for the mm -hmm. easy ones. It's like mm -hmm. two that, and that way we can check the ones which we're not sure of. Mm -hmm. So by chance is accidentally. Let me remove the mm. accident. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what about Khadina attitude? Uh, sure. Sure. Mm. Sure. Certain. Certain. certain, certain, correct. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So certain is correct. What about uh, show? Deal. Deal and not coping with. Ah, correct. Deal you're with. right. Yes, you're right, my life. Coping with. Deal with is coping, coping with. with. Correct. When you deal with something, deal with it means coping with. Yeah. Coping with. Mm -hmm. uh, show, notice, notic. notice. Yes. No. No. I think La, no. Uh, actually, both of them are pink. Show notice is also my pink castle. Mm. Doesn't mean the uh, reflect, ref, reflect, reflect, reflect. Revealed. Yes. Do you mean? Do you mean like a reveal? If if we want, if no. you use the the the, the, the infinitive. Mm -hmm. Then I infinitives revealed, man. Okay, okay. Mm. It's a synonym of what reveal? Uh, if the show, show. That's actually correct. Yes. Mm. Show and reveal are synonyms. You're right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what about notice? When when mm -hmm. you notice something. Spot. Spot is correct. Mm. 
Yes. Oh. You notice something or you spot something. Correct. Mm -hmm. What about... Uh, what about attitude? attitude. Mm. Act. Mm. Yeah, I think active. act is for another one better, maybe. Okay. Uh, maybe behave, act. Right. Because the way you Finish. act is the way you behave, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here and here we don't mean act like acting, like actors. You know, act like we mean yeah, yeah. doing, act from action. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this means the last one is is uh what is the last one that has the meaning of attitude approach, approach. Appro yeah, approach. yeah. Mm -hmm. so approach uh if you if you're using it more uh, approach and yeah and my verb and my noun we can use it in both ways to get the idea so okay. if you're if you're um, using it as a noun then her name's time in like a noun then the attitude mm -hmm. noun your attitude my attitude so an attitude or an approach is how you, how you, the way you deal with something, the way you, you handle a situation. So if you have, if you have uh, a gentle approach, then maybe if you have some kind of problem, you're not aggressive. You start softly trying to solve the problem, uh, you know, okay. quietly, calmly, in a calm way. This is the idea. So if you, if you have a gentle approach, but sometimes some problems in life need an aggressive approach. You know, for example, if you have an illness or a disease that needs antibiotic, you should start with a strong dose. This is an aggressive approach. Do you get the idea? So an approach or an attitude, how would you translate this in Arabic, by the way, an approach or an attitude? How would this be translated? Approach, approach, nahj. Yeah. Away. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Approach. The way you do something. I like his approach. Mm -hmm. I like your approach. Yeah, it's, it's a good approach. I think this is a good approach. Uh, mm -hmm. He has a bad attitude. Bad attitude, man. Who is bad? Or Maratik is sad. It aunch ma zumala. Adwani tafad Marat. Me dish waj bata. I sakar fi rasa. Yatla halba. Yel. You know. Fado Marat. Mudar seems to have a good. He has a bad attitude. I think he has a he has a bit of an attitude. Marat me gurush hata bad. You go look. The teacher sometimes is trying to be polite to the parents, so the teacher might say, "I think he has a he has a bit of an attitude." You know, it means he's a little difficult. Anyways, very nice. So we found all the synonyms. So this means we can move to the next part. Okay, now we just want to match. So again, this is another synonym exercise, but this time I think maybe it's easier when we match. So let's start with frightened. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Where is the synonym of frightened? Scared. 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 Correct. Mm. Make a decision. Um, make, make up, up, your, up mind. your mind. Correct. Try to do. Um, have, have a to good go, at have doing. A to yes. at, mm -hmm. Have a go at doing. It means you're trying to do something. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, chat so, uh, so to someone. Yeah, this one is easy. Chat, someone. chat to someone. What mm -hmm. about what about nice? Nice, uh, pleasant. 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 Yes. That's mm -hmm. correct. Enormous. Mm -hmm. A waffle. Huge. Huge. A huge. Maybe or a waffle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huge. Enormous is huge. What about please? Place brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. What about wonderful? Um, uh, wonderful. Glad. Yes. No, glad. Ah, we have a mistake. Yeah. Please, please does not Place brilliant. Glad. Glad. Yes, pleased is glad. Oh, wonderful is uh, brilliant. Wonderful is brilliant. 
Okay, and but terrible is, awful. is awful. Awful. Yeah. awful. Yeah. All right. So these are some other synonyms. So concerned, worried, frightened, scared, make a decision, make up your mind, try to do, have a go at going, at doing, uh, talk to someone, chat to someone, nice, pleasant, enormous, huge, pleased, uh, glad, wonderful, brilliant, terrible, awful. All right, very nice. So uh, this is all. I think they just want us to practice some adjectives, some synonyms. So synonyms can be, <coughs> excuse me, can be verbs or can be nouns. You can have synonyms either way. So uh, you can have them both ways. Anyway, so this was the topic about luck. I think it's an interesting topic. Let's start with this topic. So this is for our last lesson, uh, next lesson, but we can start at least uh, in the beginning and see some speaking questions. Yes. So, so in this lesson, we're gonna learn how to, how to have a good discussion really, okay? So this lesson will actually teach us a little bit about having good discussions or being able to discuss even when you have differences, you know? Just like, just like the, the, the discussion we had about luck, you know, maybe our opinions are different from, from Dr. Richard, right? But, uh, you know, we just uh, talked a little bit and even if we have some differences, it doesn't matter. We are able to talk about them. And this is what discussions mm -hmm. are all about. The ability to, to talk about something where maybe not everyone agrees on the topic. Mm -hmm. so, so this is what we're gonna listen to. But before we, before we do the, the listening and check the story, because the story mm -hmm. is about a, a village festival. And in this village festival, you know, there are a few different, few different opinions. And actually the three, the four people in the discussion, Lisa, Duncan, Ian, and Rebecca, they, you know, they don't agree on all the points. They actually disagree about some of the points. And we, we will see how they, how they agree, how they disagree, what, what they say when they agree you know, what do they say when, when they disagree, that kind of thing. This is what we'll focus on. But first of all, let's start by, you know, chatting a little bit about festivals. Now, I know festivals aren't something very, I think, I think very popular in Libya. I don't know. I don't think they're very popular. But the question is, have you ever been to a festival or maybe a street party in your town and city? And of course, here when we say street party, it's like uh, I think they're talking more about national celebrations. For example, like in uh, on on uh, Wednesday, seventeenth uh, of February, right? It, it, people on the street and in in the square, Martyrs Square. This is an example of a street party. You know, people mm. were you know in the street and celebrating, or or when you see, for example, after uh, football matches when the team wins. And all the fans are on the street celebrating. So this is what we mean by street party. So let's start with uh, our favorite volunteer. Let's start with Zena. <laughs> so Zena, have you, have you ever been to a festival or a street party or maybe a city celebration? You know, something like this. Have you ever been to any of these events? Um... No, I don't go on the street, but I have a balcony because mm -hmm. I uh, live in the in the main street, maybe. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, saw a lot of uh, cars uh, like uh, last uh, celebrate on in, in, uh, in Wednesday. Mm. Uh, yes, and I saw uh, uh, in... Uh, Oh, in my street, uh, slaughter the camel, and uh, <laughs> yes, and, <laughs> and uh, in the middle of the, the street, they slaughter the camel in the middle of the street. No, 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 no. Then not in the middle. No, not in the middle. <laughs> and, uh, on the side. And on side, yes. And, Poor camel. Uh, yes, and uh, open the DJ and yeah. uh, put it in the. The music for the for this uh, for occasion the celebration. or for this uh, yeah for this celebration. 
Mm-hmm. I always uh, um, from the balcony. I see all of this. So, so you attend. From... You attend all the festivals from the balcony. Yes, <laughs> and I see some people. Yeah, oh, and I okay. see some uh, cars. Uh, uh, some cars. Uh, 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 what the, the flag? Ah. The Libyan flag and the yeah. cars and uh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. So this is actually a good example. Mm. But uh, but here, for example, yeah. in, in our festivals, when we have a festival like, mm. I don't think we can call this a festival because this is a national holiday. Not festival. Yeah. yeah. Not festival. But but we can say I think street party. We can say maybe maybe it is a street party if you know if there's music and cars yeah. and people and slaughtering mm. a, a camel. Maybe we can say street party. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but 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 I I think because I live in the in front of uh, Nadi Dahra mm-hmm. club Dahra club. Yeah. And uh, sometimes when the the teams uh, win, and uh, do like uh, the people shouting and uh, start the uh, yeah yeah. Ah, so it, so, they, and... mm, so you mean yeah this is another good example of street parties right yeah. they celebrate in mm. the street and you know everybody's uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah okay but in your opinion um can you think of any uh, by the way before we answer number three number two can you think of I any other I traditional think... festivals in libya do we have any other traditional festivals here I don't know, but I think there is the one, and I think in Sabha maybe there is a for the uh, I don't uh, I forget dates. Uh, not, uh, yes, dates. Mm. I heard uh, about this uh, festival. Is I this don't, uh, is this true, Malak, or is it a, a rumor? Do you have a date festival for, with for dates where people sell dates no. and? Yeah. No, I don't maybe, know. I, maybe I maybe. live here and uh, I don't live here. Mm. <laughs> Even in Darj, in Darj, there is a festival, yes, in Darj. Sometimes I saw something in the television. Darj? What's Darj? About Darj. Is there a city called Darj? Uh, this is the city, uh, city, uh, no, no, not uh, my city, my city, Tarhuna. Mm. But I think uh, uh, I saw like a uh, festival. Darish. Is, do, do we have a, a city called Darish? Maybe you mean Marish? Yeah, yes. No, no, Darish. I, uh, I think near, yeah, if you, if you search in the Google, you will find city in Darish. I've never and heard I of it. I think it's near, really. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I near, swear I've never heard of it. Uh, Sabha. Maybe mm-hmm. near yes, yes. Sabha, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's I a valley. Maybe it's a, yeah. Is it a village? Is it very small? Uh, it's a valley. It's very yeah. small. Valley? Yeah. It's a valley? Yes. Yeah. Maybe, yes, valley, yes. Yeah. Because um, I know someone who uh, who uh, who died there. Uh, that's what I rem- why I remember this uh, this area. Uh, he, Someone who died uh, in the after, valley. Um, yes, after uh, the sky's uh, rain, um, mm-hmm. uh, she um, um, a lot of people go to uh, see the valley mm-hmm. there, and mm-hmm. um, the water uh, take her a lot. Mm. You mean the the water swept uh, she's her? She's a known. Yes, mm-hmm. she's a I known think of uh, woman. Yeah. Yeah. And she was yeah. she was alone, so she drowned. Uh, she uh, yes, she was in the car, and uh, she uh, uh, she uh, go out from the car to mm-hmm. see the valley, mm-hmm. and uh, yes, um, uh, the flood did uh, a lot of water. Uh, yes, mm. take her, mm, and that... they didn't find her. Until now, mm-hmm. nobody mm-hmm. found her. Yes, yes, she's died. Mm-hmm. She died. But how do we know she died? If nobody found uh, her, because uh, there isn't. Uh, they think uh, she uh, go with the waiter. Of course, she will be not. Uh, 
uh, alive. It's in uh, Gdamas, I think there is. But Gdamas is far away know. from Sabah. It's near Gdamas, maybe. I mm. don't know exactly the the where is that the, the city this city or this. Uh, mm. It's about, um uh, it's uh, far away from uh, Tripoli. I think about uh, yeah, five. Yeah, no, far. Yes, it's yeah, far no, away. Far, from... Yeah, far. I saw this festival in the television. Mm. But I remember the Maharajan Darj. But but mm. uh, the mm. the date festival. I thought they had it in Tripoli. They used to have it here in Tripoli. I think the date festival in. Uh, 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 Darj. It is uh, a valley. It's, it's a valley. valley. Mm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. good to know. اللي هو اللي في ال you know near Al Mukhtar Street. What do we call that area where they have? Uh... Marat, yes, yeah, yeah, Marat, Marat mm -hmm. yes. the, the exhibition. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. I think they had the festival that's... in there, and the, the date festival was there. I think I'm not sure which yeah. year, but Maybe. is it every year or not every year? Yeah. No, every year I uh, I uh, went there in one mm. time. Yeah. Do they have very but good uh, types very, of? Very yeah, 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 yeah. Even mm. olive oil, olive oil, mm. and uh, there is something traditional like rub and like uh, uh, zumita and even mm. like this thing. It's That's nice. This, uh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to go, I think not last year, maybe mm. a few years ago, but I thought it, maybe it was, it'll be hard to park the car and, you know, it's such a headache and lots of crowds and and then I thought, yeah. I think before before Ramadan, they do this. Uh, first, um... I, I think it's uh, every year it's in, in October, I think. October, I don't know exactly the date. Yeah, me neither. No, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about, in your opinion, maybe also Mala can share her answers here. What do you think are the best things about going to a festival and the worst things? What do you think, Mala? The best things about going to a festival and the worst things? I think uh, there are a lot of uh, traditional uh, uh, things for uh, people. Mm -hmm. uh, to show you uh, what uh, the people uh, do in mm. their uh, in their tribe, maybe or in their uh, can, uh, city mm -hmm. or in their village, um, and uh, a lot of uh, maybe food, um, maybe uh, the products of uh, this uh, um, city or town or uh, village, mm. and to show their. Uh, uh, their uh, art true yeah, yeah. and uh, but what are the uh, bad things maybe the bad thing may be crowded mm. maybe uh, uh, it is uh, not uh, um, uh, maybe there are a lot of uh, crowded just uh, that maybe mm. I never uh, go to a festival you've never been to a festival but, before uh, I yes and mm. noisy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Do you agree, Sina? Do you think, uh, or maybe maybe you can think of other advantages or maybe good things about going to festivals. And and here I want you to also maybe think about festivals, not just you know Libyan kind of festivals, also festivals mm -hmm. around the world. You know, international yeah. festivals. For example, yeah. the the Carnaval in, in in Brazil. This is an example of a festival. What do you think are the good things and and the bad things about a big festival like that or an international festival like that? What do you think? Maybe we'll know a lot of things about this country, and uh, even know uh, new people. Mm. Maybe what uh, and how they live. In this country, true. Yeah, yeah. I think About this their is clothes. The, their yeah, clothes, yeah. their culture, mm. their food. Yeah, food. Yeah, mm. and but, I think it's uh, in outside Libya maybe good and uh, can go mm. and can uh, maybe join like this festival. Yeah, and see and see what they're celebrating and what they're doing. Mm. 
Okay, yeah. but what about the bad things or the worst worst things in your opinion about going to a festival? What do you think? No, maybe what uh, Malak said mm. it's crowded. The, the crowds. Mm. Okay, okay. Just All right. Just crowded, maybe. Yeah, just the crowds. Mm. Mm. All right. But I think. There is another festival, I think. I don't know if it's been or what. But throw the tomatoes. Ah, la tomatina. Tr throwing tomatoes. Yes. That's very yes. nice. Yeah, I think that's I very think I'd, it's I'd not like to very have that. Nice because of the... Maybe not with tomatoes. Add... I, I would like to have this maybe with rocks mm. or uh, chalk. Rocks? Yeah. No. <laughs> with rocks, will, I think it's fun. People will die, maybe. It's the okay. Die, maybe. If, if a few of them died, <laughs> for example, if maybe a hundred thousand people are celebrating and throwing rocks, and maybe two or three die, it's, it's not a big problem, I think, right? And it's a small two number. Or three, maybe all of them will die, especially <laughs> here in Libya, because we are aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe everybody will die at the end. Yeah. Uh, Mm. It's, a, it's a very nice festival. I think it's fun. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like wasting food, to be honest, uh, because I like tomatoes. I think it's yes. a waste of food. Tomatoes are nice. Maybe yeah. if it's something yeah. else I don't like. Uh, like I'm trying to think of a vegetable I don't like very much. Lift, maybe, you know, uh, radish. She's from Fio, Lift and Seta. Radish, I think, of Jill radish. I forgot what, what it's called. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe if, if it's something a little harder than tomatoes uh mm. like coconuts or maybe uh i don't know something a little hard something that hurts because tomatoes are a bit soft i think so, so maybe if you throw them they don't hurt a lot and i think it's better if it hurts so anyways so this is an no, example i of... like uh, first of all like uh, show the people the this country the traditional food uh, it's better it's better mm. than to throw tomato or throw any anything even mm. yeah okay yeah mm. you, you like peaceful the festivals yes <laughs> okay all right so let's let's but do i th think here in libya not uh it won't work yeah no no not <laughs> <Yeah>. at all <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's take a look and l let's listen to this part. So this is the last thing we'll do today. We'll just uh, listen quickly. We don't have to answer anything, but I just want to play the, the discussion so you can hear them talk. Uh, but before we listen, let's take a, look, a quick look at some of the words they will use. So we have a stage. I think you know stage, like in the theater, right? We have a stage. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have donate. I think everybody knows donation to donate something. Uh, a stall. So uh, so this is a stall. A raffle. Um, have, do you know what a, what a stall and what a raffle means? No. No. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so a stall is like when you go to a vegetable market and you see someone selling on like a stand, you know, a little table and he's selling from the table in a market, for example, vegetable market. Do you get the idea? No. Okay. Makes <laughs> not لا لا مش ماكس هذيك بارجن الستول المكان نفسه اتس ذا بليس اللي اللي يبيع منه ستاند نفسه اللي يبيع منه يقولوا له ستول زي البراكه ولا اللي يبيع منها ما اعرفش نسمي فيها ممكن براكه كان مغطي البراكه نقول لكن كمرات تبدا مش مغطي يعني الطاوله يحط عليها حاجته تبدا كي مستفه باليو نو اتس لايك هي كان بوت اول هيز فيجيتابلز سو ذيس از ا ستول اند نوت اونلي فيجيتابلز يو نو اني ثينج then we have a raffle. A raffle is like, it's like when you pick, uh, it's like a game, not a game, it's, it's picking a, a random name, you know. This is a good idea, a raffle. This is the idea, to see who will get the right, uh, the right word. Let me see the, the exact translation of Binchuf al Kamma Bazabat, how to find it. Raffle. So I can explain what it means exactly in Arabic. 
يا نصيب ولا زلي زلي يا نصيب نوعا ما يعني يو جيت زي سحب سحب عشوائي يعني قرعه يا نصيب تبعك ذس ذس از ذا ايديا ذس از ذا رافل اوكي سو ذيز ار جست سم اوف ذا ووردز ذي ار غونا يوز ان ذا ديسكشن So I'm going to play it for you, and just to know what it's about, because in our last, next lesson we can answer it in detail. But let's just only listen this time. Okay. Let's find out the, about the discussion. Eleven. Right. Are we ready to start? Woo. Okay. As you know, we're planning to hold a festival in the summer to celebrate the 200th anniversary of our village. <laughs> Now we've never done anything like this before. So I'm happy to hear everyone's opinions and suggestions. Perhaps the first thing to discuss is what sort of entertainment we want. Yes, that seems a good place to start. May I make a suggestion? Yes, of course, Duncan. Well, how about having some live music? We could put up a stage on the village green for the weekend. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Who shall we get to play? We could hire some professional musicians. I'm not sure about that. For one thing, they could be quite expensive. What about charging people five pounds each to get into the festival? That would raise quite a lot of money. Sorry, I don't think we should do that. I think the festival should be free for everyone. Yes, I agree. A lot of people won't come if they have to pay. Well, we could ask bands to play for free. There are lots of local bands who'd love to play at a festival, I'm sure. Yes, we could put an ad in the local paper and on the website. Well, it's definitely worth a try. But we'll still need to raise some money to pay for the stage and the lights, that sort of thing. I've got an idea. Let's have a festival raffle and ask people to buy raffle tickets when they come in. <laughs> Then we can use the money we make to pay for the festival. Yes, that's not a bad idea. Can I make a point here? Of course. If we have a raffle, we'll need to buy prizes, so we might not make enough money to pay for the festival. Well, why don't we ask local businesses to donate the prizes for free? It would be good advertising for them. Yes, that could work. Okay, what else could we do? Have you thought of asking the school to put on a musical in the daytime? That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> Parents would love that. Okay, I'll talk to the head teacher this week. And what about food and drink? Why don't we make all the food ourselves? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I think people in the village will want to enjoy the festival, not make sandwiches all day. Well, we can just have stalls selling burgers, chips, sandwiches, and stuff. Every festival has those. Uh, can I just say something here? Sure, go ahead. As it's a village festival, I think we need to involve the people who live in the village in the festival a bit more. Okay. So how can we do that? I suggest we have some competitions. Uh, you know, the best cake, the biggest vegetable, <laughs> the most beautiful pet, that kind of thing. People always love those. Yes, that's a great idea. Okay, let's just go over what we've got so far. Hmm, okay. So this was the discussion they had. Mm, did they agree on everything or not everything? Did they reach some kind of decision? No, there or... is a different idea, yes. Not the agreement. That's correct, yeah. But did, did they kill each other or nobody killed anybody? No, no, no. Yeah, no. this is the good thing. It's nobody, quiet and that's, yeah. yeah, very calm, very gentle. Nobody killed anybody. Yeah. So I think mm -hmm. this is this is a, a very good skill. And in our next lesson, mm -hmm. we will learn how to you know how to ask for how to ask to speak if you want to make a point. How to agree if you agree with the with the previous speaker. How to make a suggestion. How to disagree without being aggressive. So this is what we'll focus on in our next lesson. And we'll also do a little bit of uh, pronunciation practice, and we do we'll do this uh, interesting exercise. So all of this is in our next lesson, okay? So thank you for your time, and yeah, inshallah, we'll meet again thank on, you on Monday. Thanks. You're welcome. Inshallah. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Bye.